So hello everyone and now we're going to talk about coordinate system and coordinate system it's a really important topic since in the next videos we also are going to go through the how to define forces and supports the boundary conditions for the analysis and the coordinate system it's important to understand how you can uh, set up a direction of force supports or anything you wanted to correlate with um, axis that you have defined in your coordinate system so the first thing I wanted to uh, highlight here for you is the same coordinate system that we have in CAD is the global coordinate system that we have in ANSYS so this one here in the left image that I show you here is the coordinate system that I have from CAD and when I import to SOLIDWORKS I have the same coordinate system in the same location that I had in the in the CAD so it's important to understand uh, how to create coordinate system because there's a lot of times you want to change uh, the directions of the coordinate system the global coordinate system to a new one that you wanted to, to, to create based on any purpose or, or on any need that you have uh, to uh, check the results in that di direction. So let's say, for example, you import a CAD model and this CAD model does not have the coordinate system aligning to, to the, the, the direction that you want to create the forces or even you want to check the results, then you're going to have to create a new coordinate system based on the directions that you want to use. And with this new coordinate system, you can, um, you can define your load supports and check the results also. So let's learn how to create a coordinate system on ANSYS. So grab a new static analysis. And I'm even going to delete this one here. And now just import the model, the coordinate system. Step file and open your model. So once you open the model, you're going to check that it's a shell model, just one part. Let's just define the thickness as 3 millimeters. And uh, the coordinate system will be created in this section here that you can see here. And if I click here, I show my global coordinate system that is the same that I had in CAD. So this is the global coordinate system that I have imported from the can is the same thing and to create a new one you just come here right mouse button and coordinate system the first thing I wanted to highlight here for you is that you can rename your coordinate system for the name you want so let's say uh, you want to create a coordinate system ABC uh, and then what you have here is the option to create three options to create your uh, your coordinate system the first one is based on geometry selection the second one is based on name and selection which is the topic that we're going to see in the next video and the third one is based on global coordinate so let's start with the geometry selection uh, this option here is where I'm gonna create a coordinate system in the centroid of the part that I select. So let's say, let's suppose I select these two faces here and I apply that. I created a new coordinate system in the centroid of the faces that I selected. And you can check also uh, the axis is the same, the direction of the axis is the same one that I have in the global coordinate system 
I can click in here also to highlight all the coordinate system that I have in the model. So this is the global coordinate system that I have in the model. This is the one, the new one that I just created. And you see it's also the same thing, uh, the same orientation of the global one. So let's say uh, you want to change uh, your X axis here. You want to define your X axis based on the global Z. So the axis you want to change is the X axis and you want to define by the global Z. So you see now that I change it here, the X to the Z to Z direction. And I can do that for any uh, axis that I want. So let's suppose now I want to, uh, the Z will be my Y global direction. I just want to okay so I change it here for a new one that I I wanted to I wanted to change the orientation based on the my global coordinate system so this is our option but let's say for instance that I I don't want to have the same orientation of my global coordinate I want to, I'm going to create another one, so just delete this one, and I'm going to create with the same faces, and let's say, for example, I want to have my x-axis aligned to the angle of this tube here. You can do that just coming here and define your x-axis by geometry selection. So I change it here. Let's just come back in here. Okay. I come back to the original orientation. And I want to uh, define as geometry selection. I come here and I select a edge. And this edge would be the same uh, directions that I want to have my x axis oriented. And then I have that you can see that the angle of the x-axis change it but let's say uh, for example I don't want to have my x-axis for this direction I want to have for the other one so I come here in geometry under geometry here I click in here in the other vector and apply okay now I have everything done I have the same orientation I just changed the angle of my geometry of my uh, new coordinate system so let's create another one so creating another one and now I'm not gonna define by faces I'm gonna define by edge so in the centroid of the, these edges that I created I'm gonna have my new coordinate system you can check that I have the same orientation as the global one but now I want to rotate my x-axis base uh, on I want to rotate like 30 degrees so you can come here you select you can translate or you can rotate here just clicking in here and I, I want to rotate my x-axis so I want to click on RZ okay and I come here and I put 30 degrees and then now I rotated my X axis and also the Y axis in 30 degrees okay so uh, this was the options that I have to create for uh, based on the geometry selection and let's check I'm gonna create a new one and now we're gonna go and create based on the global coordinates so once I click I define a value here I'm gonna define that far from my origin from my global coordinate so let's suppose I want to have 100 millimeters far from the global coordinate so you see that I created this new coordinate system the y directions I want to have 20 millimeters and z direction 50 millimeters so I can define 
whatever I, I, I want, I can define uh, my, my, my coordinate system based on the global uh, coordinate system, okay? And if I want to change the axis, the orientations, rotate or do anything like that, I can do the same process that I showed when I, I selected the geometry in here to create the, the, the coordinate system. So it's the same thing. And the third option is to create a coordinate system based on name and selection. So name and selection we're going to see in the next video. It's just a area that you choose and you define uh, based on some parameters. And once you uh, define the name and selection, you're going to create a coordinate system based on the name and selection that you created. And the change of the, actual, the axis and the orientations you can do the same thing. So there's no different uh, difference about uh, creating a uh, coordinate system based on name and selection or uh, geometry selection or global coordinate. It's just uh, the detail of choosing the first parameters to, to create your global, uh, your, your coordinate system. But the rest of the, the process to define the orientations, the axis is the same thing. So hope you learn how to create a coordinate system this is really important to understand and to make when you have to define some different coordinate system to apply a load of restrictions to check results and also there's another tools that you have where you have to create coordinate system see you in the next video